Amazon's the best place to start your own e-commerce business in 2025, but the number one issue for 99% of beginner Amazon sellers is figuring out what the heck they can even sell. So in this video, I'll break down what products are hot to sell on Amazon as well as a step-by-step -step method to consistently find proven winning products with good profit and sales history. And the best part is we don't have to create any of these products ourselves or buy stuff from China, do any marketing or anything like that. That's private label, which is way too complicated and expensive for beginners. I went from zero to six figures profit selling on Amazon my first year, buying discounted name brand products from big retail websites like Kohl's, Walmart, and Target to flip on Amazon for a profit. It's called Amazon Online Arbitrage and it's by far the simplest and easiest way to get started selling on Amazon. Let me show you the entire process. So we're here inside my screen and we're going to be taking a look at a couple winning product examples and showing you guys exactly what it looks like to find winning products as well. Once you have your Amazon seller account set up, literally all you need to do is start finding products to sell. And the nice thing is you can do that from home, just getting the products shipped directly to you, then sending them off to the Amazon FBA warehouse right here. So taking a look right here, we can see these Owala water bottles or however that said, they got 8,000 reviews on Amazon so that we know they sell really well. But even more important than reviews is actually taking a look at the BSR, otherwise known as the best sellers rank, which is the best way to gauge velocity of a specific product. So in order to do this, a lot of people think you need a ton of complicated and expensive software. You don't. All you need to get started with product research guys is SellerAmp, which is Chrome extensions. You want to be using Google Chrome right here for SellerAmp right here, which tells us how profitable a product is today, as well as Keepa, which shows us how profitable a product's actually been over time. Right, so Sellerm is going to show us immediately the BSR, otherwise known as the sales rank. The lower the sales rank, the better is what we're looking for, guys. So we want ideally below like a 200k BSR. This is an incredibly hot product. We can see as it's a 66 rank, which is literally insane. 10,000, even 50,000 is really good. We just want to make sure we're staying below a 200k rank right there, and then we want to make sure we're staying above 30 estimated sales month. We can see this specific color right here is 100 sales month, which is not bad whatsoever right here. And then the nice thing is, guys, over on on the Awala website, we can see, we can pick these up for $6.99 right here. So literally $6.99, there might be an additional coupon to get these cheaper as well, right? So we can plug in $6.99 right here and we'd see for every sale we make on this product, we make about $4 profit. And remember guys, that's after all the fees, that's after the shipping, that's after the Amazon fees, shipping from the supplier to use typically free as well, right? So we got all that factored in here and we'd see we make about $4 profit and a 55% ROI right here. And sure, this listing is profitable today. Seller Amp shows us that, but I need to make sure this listing is actually profitable over time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down here and I can take a look here on the Keepa Chrome extension. I can see what this product sold for and how fast it sold and how much competition ever since it was added on Amazon here. So I can see literally taking a look here for like 700 days here. When you're a beginner though, you want to go ahead and click the sub ranks right here to take out this middle chart. Not really super helpful right here. And then you want to take a look at the three month data right here. So you want to take a look at three month data right here. So now we can see the price of this product actually over time. So we can see it's predominantly gone for like 18 bucks here, 1750 right here, right? I get asked all the time, how much competition is too much competition on a specific product here? And truth be told, it's all about the trend. Looks like the competition glitzed and shot up briefly for like one day for whatever reason, a couple weeks ago and then a couple months ago here as well. But largely the competition's been in like the five to like eight range down to one right there as well, but largely pretty steady. And then it's also been profitable a good amount of time over the past 90 days too, which is a good sign as well. And literally this is a perfect example of a winning product where we can see it's profitable today. It's been profitable over time. There's no red flags right here. So we can see that's not bad whatsoever. And if you've watched you know, a couple of the, these videos before, you'll actually notice this item does not have a buy box. Do not automatically avoid items that don't have a buy box right here. That basically just means that you have to go through one extra step to go ahead and purchase this item right here. But we can see this item doesn't have a buy box. Taking a look at another winning product here, we can see most listings you're going to buy will have a buy box right here, this buy now option. This is where we want to be as sellers. If there's no buy box, people just buy the cheapest right there, which we can see on this specific product was still totally cool right here. So we can take a look at this item right here and we can see buy box at 26 bucks right here. So we can see nicely chilling there in the buy box at 26 bucks, 130K BSR, 176 estimated sales per month. So we know this listing makes money here. And then we can see over on the Nautica website, we can buy these for $14.99 right here. So you're probably thinking to yourself, okay, that's not profit. It's about break even right here. But if I open up another tab on the Nautica website, we can see they're giving us 15% off right here. So this is 15% off code that I can go ahead and sign up for again and again right here. So now if I take off 15%, right now it becomes $2 profit and 18% ROI. So we're still not quite there. 
But that's where another secret weapon comes in, cardbear.com, where I can purchase discounted gift cards right here to get an additional discount. In this case, like, yeah, like 12% basically right here. And even historically better over time, even like 20%, you know, a couple months ago right there. So now using this discounted gift card, I can buy a discounted gift card for say a hundred dollars for 88 bucks. That creates a lot more profit margin on these different products here. And that's the name of the game with online arbitrage is lowering our buy cost to create more winning products. So I can literally just do math and seller amp here and go ahead and take off this 12%. And now it's even better, right? So winning product criteria here, guys, you want to make sure you're under a 200 K rank, above $3 profit per unit, above a 30% ROI after everything, right? And then you want to make sure that on the Keepa chart, the price is either stable or going up. In this case, it's going up here, right? It was largely around like 22, 23. Now it's like 25, 26 here. And that the competition is either stable or going down, which we can see in this case around like 14. Then it went down to like seven to nine right there. So now we want to see, okay, couple examples of winning procs here, but how do you actually find other winning procs from here? And this is where most sellers go wrong. They think you need to like hire virtual assistants on Fiverr, you need to pay for leads, or that you need to have like some weird software that automates it. None of those actually work here from someone who actually has done this a ton, right? So what makes the most sense is to just look inside the storefronts of other sellers. So it's called storefront stalking, right? So taking a look at what other sellers are carrying and seeing what we can track down from there here, right? So we could even look at the different variations on different procs here but primarily, right, we just want to scroll down here and take a look at these other sellers that we know are making money here. So if we do that on the Nautica listing right here, we can see there's a bunch of sellers that we know are making lots of money. Yeah, like 66 reviews, 170 reviews right here, 1300 reviews or 1200, right? But you might be thinking, okay, how can I compete with those sellers as a new seller? The nice thing is the buy box algorithm doesn't care about your review count. When you buy something on Amazon, you don't look at the review count of the seller. You look at the just the review count of the item. You buy who's ever in the buy box. Luckily, we can see the buy box is nicely rotated here. A ton of different names are showing. And you got to think about it. If people weren't making money on this, they would drop their price and they have it. So we know they're making money on it, right? So now all we need to do to go find other winning products is open up the store fronts of these other sellers that we know are making lots of profit, right? So we can see like 170 views right there, 1200 is popping right there as well, 200, right? 1400 as well, right? So now we can take a look inside the store fronts of these other sellers and instantly we can see tons of products that we know sell well already. How do I know? Because they have a good sales rank. This data doesn't lie. Right. So now I can see all the different brands these sellers carry, all the different categories these sellers carry as well. I can filter into specific ones. And now I can instantly see, okay, like that's the 39K rank. We know people are making money on it. Right. 6K rank. We know people are making money on it here. 16K rank. We know people are making money on here. It does have the 2%, but don't worry about that. Just focus on the overall sales rank here. 11K. We'll take a look at that. So Nike, unfortunately, is closed for new sellers. It's what's called hard gated. So we're not going to look at that here. Right. But in general, right, if you're ever worried about on gating, I have a full on gating tour on my channel as well here, right? We can see, yeah, 33K rank. We can take a look at that as well right here, right? And pretty quickly here, we can see tons of examples of other products that we know are selling well. For example, that's a 400K rank. I don't like that here, right? But 1K rank, that looks pretty good here. And pretty quickly, we can just rock and roll through all these sellers here and see what all they got, right? So we can see a bunch of Tommy Hilfiger stuff. So 25K rank, let's take a look. 26K rank, let's take a look here. Right. And now we can see digging in and looking on Google. Okay. What websites carry these procs and then see what we can track down profitably from here. Right. So we can see on this listing, it's buy boxing for like 215. Right. Really nice keep a chart. Competition's really steady and going down. Price is rock solid, stable. So all we have to do is go ahead and plug this in on Google and see what websites actually carry this proc. So we can see HTV Vibe right here. Let's see. Okay. This is by Valve here. Okay. So let's see. So 149 here. Right, so valve base station here. So let's see. Yeah, so 149 here. At 149, plugging that in, we would be actually close to being profitable here. Now, we what we got to do is figure out if there's any sort of additional coupon here. I'm a big fan of Capital One shopping and coupon birds for additional coupons right here. You know, if, okay, yeah, this definitely is a physical one because it's on Steam and I know they sell like a lot of video games and stuff like that, or I think right there. So we want to see if there's any like good discounted gift cards here. Let's see if there's a discounted gift card for uh, for Steam right here. Let's see, Steam right here, uh, only 4% off. So we can see that would not work, unfortunately. So maybe people are buying this wholesale in bulk or something like that, um, but that uh, does not make sense here. Let's see, this is a good looking chart too. Right here on Keepa, right? We wanna pay like 12 or so for these. Let's see, Grand Theft Auto 5, Xbox here. Yeah, 20 bucks on Target. I think there's gonna be like a you know 30% sale or something like that. 
and then we can take a look at on those here. So this is, this is interesting. Wow, look at how much higher the buy box price is going than it currently is. 190, but a lot of people are moving into like 205 here. So I'd plan on moving it higher, maybe like 205, 207 right there. So sometimes you got to adjust that on the fly based on what you're seeing here. So if we go ahead and plug these in here. Let's see. Ah, okay. So this person actually is buying from Steam, it looks like, because they found that other one on there too. So let's see. So at 129 here, so let's see, 129 here, right? When C, $27 profit, 21% ROI. Honestly, with this fast of sales here, looking at where people are getting the buy box, this could totally be safe to go ahead and, and invest in. Honestly, it's a little bit lower ROI. I don't really think people would return this super often though. So say we sell this like 207 here, right? If I'm a new seller, I might say yes to something like this. Do I think it makes sense to buy something you see in the YouTube video? I don't, but we're just speaking conceptually in terms of data here, 29 bucks profit. That's not bad whatsoever. Just for this like court here. And who knows, there might be a wholesale program with Steam. You might be able to give Steam your resource certificate, which is not required, but definitely doesn't hurt, right? For sites like Walmart and Home Depot that accept that. Quick interruption from the video, guys. If you love what you're seeing and you want personalized one-on-one -on -one help implement the stuff, that's exactly what I help new and existing Amazon sellers do inside my private coaching program. So if you want personalized one-on-one -on -one coaching directly from me, you want to get together on Zoom and live source together, you want to be around other Amazon sellers crushing the game in the community, you want to get plugged in on all my favorite coupons, tips, tricks, and strategies, go ahead and check the link in the description and put in your information and apply. Back to the live sourcing video right here. And really what you guys got to get is that very rarely will you just find stuff good at the advertised price on a website you guys saw on Nautica. We made that good, right? So that's what you got to get is that pretty much every website has one or two tips and tricks that create the profit on the products. And once you learn them, you can go out and take advantage of those. And that's what I work with my coaching guys is just plugging them directly in on all my favorite coupons, tips, tricks, and strategies here. So we can see there's like 59 here, right? in the buy box really consistently too, past couple months, right? Just plug this in on Google here. Let's see. So yeah, these are on a uh, Let's see, it looks like Boscovs right here. So at a uh, $39.99 here on Boscovs, let's see. So yeah, just about break even. It's the Boscovs gift card situation on Card Bear here. So let's see, yeah, 7% right there. So we go ahead and take off, you know, 7% here. We can see five bucks profit, 14% ROI. Don't love that. Um, aha, though, this could be the, uh, the key here. This Boscovs coupon, extra 10% off. Aha. Right. So now assuming this coupon works, which it might not, but it probably does here, right? We take off 10% from this and now we're making nine bucks profit, 28% ROI. Honestly, you probably take something like that if you're a beginner with 300 plus sales per month right there. So that's not bad either right here, right? So we're getting a little bit of a groove here. Let's see. So this listing has a bunch of colors and sizes right here, right? So I get asked all the time, how do you tell what, what are the best variations on a specific listing right here? And that comes from the Keepa variations tab, guys. So if I go down here and hit variations on Keepa, now I can go ahead and see which variations are selling best on a specific product. I just have a, to take a second to organize my columns correctly right here. So we can see, yeah, 30 bucks, right? But the competition's shooting up. It looks like there must've been like a big sale on these recently. Competition shooting up on a bunch of them going to avoid those right there, right? And we can see these gap hoodies here. Let's go down to variations right here. See which of these guys are moving best. Let's see. So we can see it looks like that has really good offer count movement. Offer count movement just means seller count movement right here. And obviously in terms of ungating, all these are coming from big retail websites. So you'd be able to ungate with those here. Let's see. So we want to take a look at what's, yeah, like that looks good here. 39 right there as well. Let's see. So we take a look at a couple of these that have good offer count movement. So interestingly enough, we can see Amazon's actually selling this product themselves right here, but I don't want to automatically avoid stuff. I can see Amazon selling right here, right? So taking a look here, I can see, yeah, I don't know why I didn't have Amazon selected right there. We can see that other sellers are getting buy box that aren't Amazon right here. So I'm going to go ahead and see if we could track this down because it is clear that Amazon is sharing the buy box. And all I have to do guys is go ahead and plug this in on Google and say, Hey, okay, what websites carry this product? Most of the time, each brand just comes from one website, honestly. So we can see uh, 25 bucks here gap. Right, so we can see 25 bucks right here. So we plug in 24.99, that is not there. It's close, just about break even here, right? So I need to figure out what other discounts exist for Gap Factory, right? Which comes from checking the coupon extensions, Capital One Shopping and Coupon Birds, those are free, right? I happen to know just from experience here that there's a 20% code that I can go ahead and take advantage of here from Gap, right? So just signing up with my email, little pro tip here, say my email is flipsmiles at gmail.com right here. I could literally just plug in period in the middle right there, go ahead and take that out, which would be awesome right there. And that literally just gives you an additional 
email, but it all forwards to the same email address. So literally all I have to do is with a period check, put that in, it says a new email, it's time for the coupon right there. Then eventually you set up what's called a catch all email right there, but all of that forwards directly through to that main email address. So now I have 20% off on Gap. So at 25 here, go down to 20%, we'd see $3 profit, 16% ROI, not quite there, although the profit's good, but I need to check the discounted gift card situation as well. So now taking a look on Gap, which the Gap gift cards do work on Gap Factory right here. So we can see 18% off here with gift card savings. So if I take off, you know, 17.5% here, now the system becomes $7 profit and a 43% ROI and it becomes a good listing there. And there were other good colors as well too. So this is the name of the game here. And this is how it's done is we're just finding these proven listings. We don't have to run any ads. We don't have to take any pictures, literally nothing. All we have to do is just list these on Amazon, which you should use Boxum to go ahead and do that, which makes the listing and shipping process significantly easier here, right? So we can see, yeah, 52 bucks right here. These four packs going for actually no buy box here at uh 52, but we can see, yeah, these actually sell is some history of Amazon being in stock here, but largely the buy box and just the sale allocation has been going to third-party sellers right here. It has the IP suspected on Telleramp here. Whenever you see the IP suspected, it is on you to go ahead and take a look at the Cuba chart, see if there's any random just massive drop-offs in sellers right there to avoid an intellectual property complaint. doesn't seem to be the case on Tommy here. Also, don't automatically avoid listings you see the private label alert on right here. So now, boom, check it out. Okay, if those are the right ones. Let's see. So Cotton Classics here. Let's see. Yeah, Cotton Classics. Boom. Okay, so we can see here. Check it out. So literally, Right there, we can see Classic Breeze four pack here, Classic Breeze four pack here, 25.5 right there. So we can see $10 profit, 40% ROI right there. And I'd wanna go ahead and see if there's any discounted gift cards that make sense too. So now, literally all we'd have to do when you're finding these winning products on your own, and in some cases making them good using these different discounts that exist, all you do is you buy like, you know, 10 if you need to get ungated, five to 10 if it's just a test order, right there, something you're already ungated in, right there. And you can go ahead and get started right from there, ship them to yourself, then ship them off to the Amazon on FBA warehouse, you can box them, makes the process really easy right here. So now you know what a good product actually looks like. All you need to do to get started, guys, is get your Amazon seller account set up and then get Selleramp and Keepa, the Chrome extensions that you're gonna install in your Google Chrome browser to do all in arbitrage on, box them for listing and shipping, and then you can get started buying ASAP. If you guys want personalized one-on-one -on -one help directly from me to implement this stuff, I'll leave a link down below in the description for my coaching program application. Love to get on Zoom, help you out one-on-one. -on -one. We can live source together, talk through all the problems that come up right there. Tons of proven case studies on my channel from successful students as well. So if that's something you're interested in, take a look at the link in the description. Go ahead and put in your information and apply. See you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.